YouTube, it's your dude V3RY, and I gotta get some gas. Today's video is the manual transmission mod. This is gonna allow us to drive our cars, vehicles, whatever it may be, exactly like it would be with a sequential transmission. We're gonna be able to shift up and down and all in between. This video is brought to you by viewers like you so consider subscribing to the channel follow along because the tutorial is going to be at the end of this video in this video we're covering the actual act of driving and uh, then we're going to take a look at the in-depth menu because guys there's so much to this mod that i don't know if i have enough time to go over it in depth so first and foremost we got to top up the 2020 countach let's go ahead and fill her up with the top it up with some premium petrol Okay, so we got all the gas. Let's hop in. Uh. Okay, so first things first. This is my favorite part of this mod right here. I'm gonna go ahead and change my view to first person view. Boom. This is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. This is like my favorite part of this mod is the first person view inside. This mod gives us control of the field of view too. It's nutty. Anyways, let's go. Okay, so we're in third gear somehow. I'm using my uh, PS4 controller and square is gonna be downshift, X is gonna be upshift. Let's roll out. So we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a cruise on back down to the hood. Oh, there was a cop. Good thing we weren't speeding. And I really like the way that this car feels now when you're driving with this mod, it's completely different. It's a lot smoother, but this car is, this car is janky at high speeds. You know, there's even cruise control options. I think we should explore cruise control, yeah? When we get a chance, we'll go through it. All right, you know, I think we're on a good spot. We can, uh, we can maybe play around with cruise control give it a shot you know let's give it a shot let's give it a shot so to get the menu launched what we have to do on our keyboard is hit the left bracket all right that's going to be the third the second button left of your back uh backslash so now that we're in that i think if we go to driving assist at the very bottom here amongst many other things we have cruise control settings so if i wanted to activate that um I guess we have to get up to speed, huh? Okay, we cannot shift gears while in the menu. Let's activate it. Boom, it's on, we're going. It's driving. We can even make it adaptive so that any car in front of us will match their speed. Here we come, we're coming up close to a dump truck, it looks. Oh yeah, so if you hit the accelerator, it, oh my gosh. Alright, coming up to this trunk, let's try the adapt adaptive uh, driving. Okay, so I'm, it's matching the speed of the vehicle in front of us. I'm not touching anything, I'm just steering. What is going on with my rear view mirror? Anyways, pretty neat, huh? Alright, let's follow this guy. Adaptive is still on. Let me, admit, let me make him speed up. He literally stopped driving. <laughs> he literally stopped driving. So let's see if we can go super fast and then stop on a dime. Let's take it up to uh, 200 miles per hour and see what happens. All right, this is the script. This is the script itself, the mod itself doing everything. All right, can we slow down? Hey, this is better than a Tesla. Okay. I like this. This is takes all the effort out of actually not crashing. Damn, we should have stopped for gas. All right, let's take it up. We got an open road in front of us. Let's see if we can max out. Oh, slow down there, puppy. We're only good in straight lines. All right. Oh. Here we go. I think we're going to hit. Oh, gosh. A car. I think we're going to hit a car. That was not good. All right. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Here we go. Got to stay on the right side of the road. We're on our way to Franklin's house to park this puppy. Actually... Okay, we are going to turn that off for now. But that is just some of the things we're going to see once we get into the menu. Uh, cruise control is now off. We're back to manual transmission. Let's open this up. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's stop doing that. Engine brake. That is another option you can uh, enable. Let's get some uh, volume on that engine for you, eh? Oh yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna sound cool underneath the bridge here. Uh oh. Okay guys, here we are back in the garage or at least the driveway let's go ahead and turn the engine off yes okay so another cool thing about turning the engine off in the car when we get out right you know it's off when we get back in it's not going to start unless we actually accelerate or hit the ignition ourselves so now that we're inside let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these different features all right i'm going to open up the menu now and we're just going to go over some of the interesting ones. We're not going to necessarily get too deep, but these might be some things you want to look at. Manual transmission features, engine damage, so redlining too much can really hurt the engine. Um, engine stalling, engine braking, I have that on gear RPM lock, meaning, you know, you can't go above a certain RPM or gear. Rev limiter, enable speed limiter speed limiter settings and then also clutching so if you're required holding the clutch to shift in an h pattern shift mode and as well for the uh, controller uh you can use or controller or keyboard and sequential shifting you can also use the clutch i'm not going to necessarily use that because it's a little bit more uh technical than my brain can process and as it is just getting used to controller driving with this mod fine tuning it goes really deep into that so if you know what you're talking about and looking at by all means that's for you shifting options um pretty basic i leave everything stock most of these settings they're all stock except for enabling um engine brake vehicle configurations you can save the configurations you make uh, moving on to controls it's going to cover the three types of controls for controller keyboard wheel pad um, i think this is really interesting because uh, it's, I think it dampens or controls the rate of acceleration. So if I hit the gas when I turn the car on, uh, me squeezing the trigger, how fast is it gonna make the RPMs rev up? I think, see button presses and released within the time are regarded as a tap, shift up, shift down. So uh, it's definitely something worth looking into. Like I said, there's lots of different settings and configurations and options in this mod. Driving assist, we just looked at cruise control. We can even turn on anti-lock braking systems, traction control, um, what is this, excessive over and understeer control. Uh, enable launch, keeps a stable RPM and manages throttle and first gear for maximum launch. Like I said, slip differential stuff, all wheel drive for all wheel drive vehicles. That's really cool if you wanna take the rally route, you know, do a little uh, STI off-roading or maybe you wanna do some crawling up a mountain of Chiliad or whatever, whatnot. Cruise control, like I said, really awesome. Gameplay assist, uh, auto start, you know, leave engine running, simplify bike. This is gonna do things for shifting on a bike, which is strange on some bikes. They they throttle and rev up really fast. You're in seventh gear going 30 miles an hour. So uh, hill gravity workaround, all kinds of other little things. Um, one you might be interested in coming up is looking at camera options. So this one's really cool. Uh, so this is really awesome that's why we're able to look at the car like we are now so if i go to camera options enable first person camera view disable that boom this is stock this is what the game looks like not bad it's not bad it's controlled it's there 
you know you see the road in front of you turn this on <laughs> dude you're looking out the sunroof you're looking out the windows you're looking behind you no problem you see everything you can play around with the settings for the field view offset height blah 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 the pitch you know make it spin around upside down if you want to player head vehicle all kinds like i think this is this is just amazing it's so convenient um what's even more convenient though is for motorcycles you can definitely change the way the motorcycle camera looks so let's do that we've got some bikes out here we've got the harley here you go we are on the harley let's check out the motorcycle camera all right disabled there you go standard standard third person view turn that bad boy off and here we go see our dials working we can set it to vehicle height and then oh we do have a helmet on do we i don't know is that a v-neck is that our deep v-neck but yeah there you go um if we play it back to head and then alter the field of view this is fun because i whenever i'm riding motorcycles i love to be able to look down at the dials or like holding the motorcycle it's like what makes it feel more immersive for me um camera movement options now this is tricky very very concise precise um but there you go there are some camera options you can do a lot of other things that i don't think i'm gonna mess with but definitely definitely give it a shot if you wanna you got a board sunday you want to figure it out go for it here we can play with the heads up display options this is going to give us the font for our uh, gauges down there in the bottom right where you can outline the text how much information is displayed gear and shift mode that's gonna do our X and Y's uh, our sizes as well as positions and colors uh, this also lets us change the shift mode we're in um, same uh, X Y sizes we can go change the speedometer do we drive in uh, miles per hour uh, kilometers I don't know what the heck MS is uh, drive chain speed again you can change the color height with x y positioning same with the rpm gauge we can alter the height we can uh, change the width it could uh, go up down left right wherever you want it to go change colors uh, very in depth uh, we don't use wheel and pedal and for the dashboard indicators that's pretty cool um, if you're into that it's got a four or several different indicators that will show uh, whenever they're needed like trash control and anti-like braking systems so there you go those are pretty much the basics just a, a rough overview uh-huh um and so yeah i think that's gonna do it for this video folks all right folks well that is gonna do it for this video i need to get on the phone right now and put in an order with my boy z your dude ski v3r to the wiz e and to the next video and or tutorial for gta fizzizzle check out the tutorial coming up next right now what's up and welcome to that manual transmission tutorial go ahead and download manual transmission mod as well as the dash hook mod and locate your main gt5 directory like i have here on the left up top on the right i have our manual transmission what we're going to do is select the folder the dismemberment asi and gears asi drag and drop that to your gta5 main directory just like i did and if you want to know how to use the controls, go ahead, uh, click on this docs folder. Okay, and then drag and drop the README, extract it wherever you want. Open it up. It might ask you to open it up in whatever you use to read PDFs. And here it's going to give you a breakdown of all the facets of this uh, drift assist mods they suggested you to use. But we're focused on the controls. So for the keyboard, there's controls uh, for controllers and uh, how to set up wheel peripherals, wheel controllers. So that is uh, good to know. Next, we're gonna install the, uh, what do we call it here? The uh, dash hook. So we're just gonna select everything here. Probably wanna read that readme file real quick. This is copy dash hook to the main folder. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna assume that we take these with it. So I'm just gonna drag and drop those straight to our main directory. What the fuck? <clears throat> hmm? Uh, 
sure. I don't fucking know. Anyways, there you go. You've got your manual transmission installed with the dash hook library. I'm your dude, V3RY to the uh, fucking Y, dude. I'm G. I mean, I'm very mean. Bye. <laughs> Until the next video from GTA 5. Peace.